My entitled mother demanded I hand over my house to her because my little sister is pregnant and needs it more than me. I have a sister, who has honestly been the golden child to my mother but not my father for as long as I can remember. My parents divorced when I was a teenager because my mother cheated with an old high school ex-boyfriend and has always been controlling, manipulative and narcissistic. And sadly my sister was like her little mini-me. Our mother also seemed to believe she had total authority over me anytime she snapped her fingers. She'd snap them and order me around like a dog. It was demeaning. And my sister always backed her up too. So no surprise I went to live with my dad full time after our parents split while my sister stayed with mom. The two of them were very alike. And both pretty much stopped speaking with my father unless it was about money. Though I'm more like my dad. My father was very business oriented and started teaching me how to do his line of work as soon as I was 16. I got pretty good at it. And after 12 years of working for my father I was made a partner in his company. Things were great. But then about 8 months ago tragedy struck. My father had become somewhat immunocompromised due to being a heavy smoker for much of his life and died at only 60 years old after he caught the virus. I met my mother and sister for the first time in years after we had a socially distanced funeral for my father over video call. My father was cremated by his own request and buried in a local cemetery. So there was no body or casket. My sister seemed to grieve, but my mother looked indifferent the entire time. Though I honestly was not surprised. The last time she saw my father she screamed at him that he owed her more money, and then threatened to sue him. To which he just laughed at her. He'd paid alimony and child support as long as he was legally mandated to, and no more than that. And he even put 30k toward my sister's college fund. But 10 years after the divorce he was no longer legally required to send mom money anymore because of the judge's ruling. And she's by no means broke. She works the same job she has had for nearly three decades, fully owns the old family home we used to share. And even rents out two of the rooms in it to Airbnb regularly. She's by no means hurting for money. Sometime after the funeral my dad's will was read. Apparently he'd figured that if his heavy smoking didn't eventually do him in, something else would. And even joked about it in a pre-recorded video. I was pretty much willed nearly all of his assets from most of his money to his business and home. He left my sister a car, 2015 Nissan Altima, and about 10k in cash. My mother only got one grand and a few other items that she'd been claiming were rightfully hers since the divorce. Beyond that I got the rest. And my girlfriend now lives with me in the house my father passed down to me. My sister pretty much went from finishing two years of community college to living off her boyfriend and only working part-time online for several years. And during that time she got pregnant but suffered a traumatic miscarriage. I wasn't aware till after the funeral because we were practically no contact and no one else told me. When lockdown hit her boyfriend's job started downsizing little by little and eventually he was only able to stay on part-time. Which hampered hers and his finances to the point he was finally telling her she needed to look for better employment as well since he was trying to find a second job. And then she got pregnant. She claims her and her boyfriend were careful, but calls it her miracle baby. One evening I got an unexpected knock at my door. And when I answered I was unpleasantly greeted by both my mother and sister. They both walked right in without even asking and made themselves comfortable in my living room. My girlfriend and I shared a look of confusion and I asked why they'd come by. My sister was giggling and looking all over, opening doors and seemingly giving herself a tour of my home. My mother had just plopped herself down on my sofa and snapped her fingers while demanding a cold bottled water. My girlfriend got the water for her and I asked what they were here for. My sister seemed all giddy and just ignored me to continue snooping around my home. And before long I heard her yell from down the hall mommy it's perfect. Yes. She still calls her mommy, my mother finally spoke up and said well. I think it's time to did your brotherly duty. To which I was like what? My mother then proceeded to say now that your father has passed. This house should have gone to me since I was his only spouse. But you can still fix this. You make plenty of money and could just buy a new house. Your sister needs this one so much more since she's the one with a baby on the way. But if you're so determined on staying, you could just keep to one room and cover all of the bills until you decide to move out. My girlfriend and I read enough Reddit to know exactly where this is going. And how it'd play out if I let it go on. So I guess you could say we were mentally prepared. I took a deep breath and stated aloud that's not f asterisk 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 ing around. Especially not in my own goddamn home. Yes I make plenty of money. But like dad, I'm gonna save it for when I really need it. Not that you care. 
My mother started snapping her fingers at me like she used to and loudly stated stop. I am your mother. And you will do as I say because I brought you into this world, and I'm the one in charge here. And as far as you're concerned, I am God. That means when I say jump, you say how high. This house is rightfully mine. And your sister will live here. Consider this your formal eviction. But since I'm gracious, I'll give you two weeks to pack your bags and transfer the deed to me. In the back of my mind I'm thinking this can't be real. But then I just grabbed my cell phone and started dialing. My mother quickly stood up and yelled what are you doing? And I retorted I'm doing what I should have done as soon as this crap started. I'm calling the cops to get you out of my f asterisk 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 ing house. She started swiping at me and managed to knock my phone out of my hands. Then she proceeded to try and stomp on it. But I was quick enough to snatch it up before she could. That's it. If you don't leave I will force you out myself. My mother proceeded to slap me across the face. And I returned the favor twice as hard backhanded. So much so I ended up knocking her back down onto the couch. She held her hand over her reddening and smeared makeup face in total shock. And then yelled how dare you. I went back to dialing on my phone and said that if she didn't leave. I would have police come and remove her by force. My sister came barreling in between us holding her arms out and saying that I should just do the right thing for once in my life and be a good big brother. I snapped and said oh really? I'm the bad sibling? Last I checked I was the one who's had to work for a living since I was a teenager. I had to do all the chores in the house while you just sat on your butt playing video games or earned money just to go out shopping after you spent all of your allowance. You're a complete mooch and thief. So I don't owe you crap. Now both of you get out before I decide to dial this last number. My sister started to tear up crying like a baby and said mommy make him stop. My mother began hugging her and kissing her cheeks while giving me a death glare. Then she seemed to think she'd gotten smart and said you know. If you do call the police I can just tell them that you hit me. And who knows, I could maybe say to everyone you wanted to do a lot worse to a poor pregnant girl in need. I don't think that it'd be very good thing for you. I cut her off with a raised hand and said just stop. If you haven't noticed my girlfriend over there has had her phone out recording almost this whole time. And that means we have recorded evidence of you assaulting me first and openly stating you'd lie to police. I don't think that it'd be so good for your reputation at your job or your little Airbnb. If looks could Una live my mother would have blew me up like a tactical nuke. But she quickly deflated and started dragging my crying sister out by the arm. My sister was somehow acting like a complete toddler and broke loose of our mother's grip to sit down on my porch step and have a tantrum. I just gave my mother a look and said do you see now? This is the result of the spoiled way you raised her. She glared at me again and then I was treated to a show of my mother trying to drag my sister off of my porch steps. But she latched onto the porch handrails and kept saying you promised me. Over and over again. I let out a cackle and told them both from the door to never come back. My mother flipped me the bird and then went back to trying to drag my sister off the porch. It took a few minutes but she finally got my sister to get up and leave with her by saying I am a cruel heartless bastard who will go to hell for this. I laughed some more and said that there's also a special place in hell for liars and narcissists who try to manipulate others to get their way. My mother clenched her fists and was about to say more when I just held up my smartphone again with it recording and said the clock is ticking mom. Get off my property. My mother then walked my sister to the car, gave me one last snooty look and drove off. I thought that was the end of it. But letting things go was never something my mother would do. After a few days I started getting messages from people I know and some relatives online. A lot of them were furious with me. But others just had questions about what was going on. I tried to. Check my FB, but couldn't see anything they.